Have you ever wondered how monkeys, one of our closest relatives in the animal kingdom, reproduce? It's a question that's as complex as it is fascinating. You see, monkey reproduction isn't a simple matter. Much like humans, it's a process that's intricate, diverse, and dependent on a multitude of factors. One of the key factors that influence monkey reproduction is the mating season. Yes, monkeys have a mating season, just like many other animals, but it's not as straightforward as it may seem. The timing, the triggers, the rituals, they all play a significant role in the reproductive cycle of these fascinating creatures. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more to explore, to understand, to appreciate about the world of monkey reproduction. So, buckle up, because we're about to embark on a journey that promises to be as enlightening as it is intriguing. Stay tuned as we journey into the fascinating world of monkey reproduction. To understand the mating season of monkeys, we first need to understand their basic reproduction process. Let's embark on this fascinating journey. Monkeys, like humans, belong to the group of mammals known as primates. Their reproductive process is similar to that of humans, with the key steps being fertilization, gestation, and birth. Fertilization is the first step. It occurs when a male monkey mates with a female during her fertile period, and a single sperm cell from the male fertilizes the female's egg. This fertilized egg, or zygote, then starts to divide and grow into an embryo. After fertilization, we move on to the gestation period. This is essentially the pregnancy period for the female monkey, during which the embryo develops into a baby monkey inside her womb. The gestation period varies among different monkey species. For example, in smaller monkeys like marmosets, it can be as short as four to five months. But in larger species like baboons, it can extend up to seven months. During this gestation period, the female monkey undergoes several physical changes, including weight gain and changes in behavior. She also starts to prepare a safe environment for the newborn, often with help from other females in the group. And finally, we have the birth. The female monkey gives birth to a single baby in most cases, although twins are not unheard of. The newborn monkey, also known as an infant, is usually very small and completely dependent on its mother for survival. Now let's not forget about the male monkeys. While their role in the actual process of gestation is limited, they play a crucial part in the initial stages of reproduction. They compete with other males for mates and often take on a protective role, guarding the female and the newborn from potential threats. Understanding these basic aspects of monkey reproduction is key to comprehending their mating behaviors, social dynamics, and survival strategies. With this foundation, we can delve deeper into the mating season of monkeys. So, when exactly is the monkey's mating season and what triggers it? While we humans may mark our calendars for holidays or special events, monkeys have a different kind of calendar they adhere to, one that's dictated by nature. The timing of their mating season varies greatly among the different species, but typically, it aligns with periods of abundant food resources. This ensures that there's plenty of nourishment for females during pregnancy and for the offspring once they're born. For example, capuchin monkeys in Central and South America usually mate during the late spring and early summer, which coincides with the rainy season. This is when fruit, their main food source, is most abundant. On the other hand, baboons in Africa have a less defined mating season and may mate at any time of the year. However, mating activity tends to increase during the rainy season when food is more plentiful. Now what signals the start of the monkey mating season? Well, it's a combination of environmental and physiological triggers. Changes in daylight, temperature, and food availability can all signal the onset of the mating season. In many species, females show physical signs that they're ready to mate, such as swelling and color changes in certain body parts. This is known as estrus. Males, being highly observant, pick up on these signals and respond accordingly. Hormones also play a crucial role. Increased levels of certain hormones in both males and females trigger behaviors and physiological changes necessary for mating. It's a fascinating interplay of nature and biology that ensures the survival of the species. But it's not all about timing and triggers. There are social factors at play, too. For instance, in some monkey societies, only the dominant males get the privilege to mate with the females, 
ensuring that only the strongest genes are passed on to the next generation. Now that we know when and why the mating season occurs, let's explore what happens during this time. How do monkeys attract mates, and what challenges do they face during the mating season? Let's dive into the fascinating world of monkey mating rituals, where every behavior has a purpose and every action has a consequence. To attract a mate, monkeys use a variety of strategies. Vocalizations are a common method, where monkeys produce a range of sounds to communicate their availability and desire to mate. These can range from soft coos to loud, resonant calls that echo through the forest. But it's not all about sound. Visual displays are equally crucial. Monkeys often engage in displays of strength to attract a mate and assert dominance. This can involve anything from chest thumping to an elaborate dance. These displays are not just for show, they signal to potential mates the monkey's health, strength, and ability to provide and protect. Grooming is another vital part of the mating ritual. It's a social activity that strengthens bonds between monkeys. By grooming a potential mate, a monkey shows care and attention, which can be quite appealing in the monkey world. However, the mating season is not without its challenges. Competition is fierce, as multiple males often vie for the attention of a single female. This competition can sometimes escalate into physical confrontations, where the strongest and most determined emerge victorious. Predation is another challenge monkeys face during the mating season. The increased activity and noise can attract unwanted attention from predators, making the monkeys more vulnerable. Monkeys must therefore balance their desire to find a mate with the need to stay safe. And let's not forget about the environment. Monkeys must also contend with changing weather conditions, food availability, and potential disturbances to their habitat. Despite these challenges, monkeys persist in their quest for a mate, driven by the powerful instinct to reproduce. These rituals and challenges are integral to the monkey's mating season. But what happens next? Once a monkey has successfully mated, what happens during the pregnancy and birth? Well, Let's delve into this fascinating process. The gestation period, or the time a mother monkey carries her baby, varies across different species. For smaller species like the squirrel monkey, it's about six months. For larger species like the baboon, it can extend up to seven months. During this period, the fetus undergoes a remarkable transformation. It starts as a tiny cluster of cells, gradually developing into a fully formed baby monkey complete with tiny fingers and toes, a tail, and a cute little face. This process is quite similar to human fetal development, with crucial organs and body parts forming in the early stages, followed by growth and maturation. Now let's move on to the birth process. Unlike many other animals, monkeys usually give birth during the day, a fact that scientists believe may be linked to their social structure. The birth itself is typically a quick process often completed within a few hours. Some species have been known to assist each other during labor, offering a helping hand when needed. Once the baby monkey is born, it's immediately cleaned and cradled by its mother. The bond between a monkey mother and her newborn is profound and touching. The mother carries the baby everywhere, feeding it, grooming it, and teaching it the ways of the world. In some monkey species, Fathers and other group members also play a crucial role in caring for the newborn. They may hold, groom, and even babysit the young ones, a trait that is relatively rare among mammals, but common in primates. This cooperative care helps the newborn learn social skills and strengthens bonds within the group. So that's the journey of monkey reproduction, from mating season to birth. It's a captivating tale of nature's marvels, revealing how these creatures, so similar to us in many ways, navigate the path of life. We've learned quite a bit about monkey reproduction and their mating season today. We started our journey unraveling the reproductive riddle and discovered the basics of monkey reproduction, from their reproductive organs to the cycle of conception. We then delved into the timing and triggers that mark the start of their mating season, understanding how environmental factors and hormonal changes play a crucial role. We witnessed the rituals and challenges that monkeys face during this season, from the intricate dance of courtship to the battles for dominance. And finally, we navigated through the stages of pregnancy and birth, appreciating the resilience and dedication of monkey mothers. It's been an intriguing exploration into the world of monkeys, 
a testament to nature's intricate design and the survival of species. The next time you see a monkey, remember the complex and fascinating process that brought it into the world. Thanks for joining us on this journey into the world of monkey reproduction.